see the whole flow center dropping down a little bit there. That's a good sign. That lets me know it's going to move when we get it up. We don't want it to fall, though. All right. I've got it loose here. I've let it go ahead and drain the rest of the residual water out. The ones that's going to give me a fight is getting this end off. Once I get those loose, we should be able to get the new circulation pump on the wall. Get everything hooked up. Get the system filled back up. Do a pressure test. Get it running. Make sure it's going to do everything we need. We, we already got the water hose in here. We got the geo kit. And we got our pressure test. When I got here, it was only holding about 10 PSI. It's been leaking constantly. We finally found the leak down here in the pool house. So hopefully it's not going to be under the ground leaking somewhere else after we get this fixed yeah. all right we got her undone she's still just draining get close to finishing so we got one side off we we'll work on yanking this side off and once we get it off we'll have a new flow center on here Hold it right here for me, and, and I'm gonna try to thread these lines into it. This was the hard one, so. It's tightening and screwing on. All right, it's in. Let it down some. And then when we get it on there, we'll tighten it down all the way. Okay. First, mm, I may have to force it this way. <clears throat> Do the bottom one first. All right, let her down. Hold on, let me push it this way so I'm gonna give you some space. There you go. There we go. Now let's push this one in there. 